My name is Mindy Christensen and I'm an assistant professor in the Division of Reproductive Endocrinology and Infertility in the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology here at Johns Hopkins. I chose the specialty of reproductive endocrinology and infertility because I really fell in love with it as a medical student. I really was impressed with the technology that was involved to help couples obtain their goal of having a baby, and I was impressed with the relationships that the, doc the infertility doctors were able to have with their patients to really help them achieve their goals. I'm involved in research involving fertility preservation for cancer patients, both for young girls as well as for women. Uh, many patients are surviving cancer treatment, which is the good news, but then as they survive, they find that their fertility is impaired. So I've done research looking at predictive factors for what patients actually undergo fertility preservation. I'm also involved in a research project involving young girls, looking at the safety and efficacy of ovarian tissue cryopreservation in that group. I've also done research with breast cancer patients looking at ways we can help improve the counseling process so those patients are also always offered fertility preservation if they are interested in that. My philosophy of patient care is really to become a partner with my patients in achieving their goal of having a baby. The infertility process can be very stressful and anxiety provoking for my patients, so I want them to know I'm always there for them 100% every step of the way. I'm there to answer their questions and take them through the difficult times. I've received specialty training in areas such as in vitro fertilization, as well as performing egg retrieval and embryo transfer. I've also received special training in complex surgical procedures, such as repairing anatomical abnormalities of the female reproductive tract. Like many women today, I delayed having a baby while I was focusing on my career. I then found myself wanting a baby, but actually requiring fertility treatments myself. So I've actually been under the care of a reproductive endocrinologist and experienced many of the things that my patients experience today. I'm happy to say that I had a healthy baby boy and hope my patients can achieve that goal as well.